The following program is a production of Pioneer Public Television. Grassland Jam presents the world traveling Hen House Prowlers. Welcome to Grassland Jam, the best of bluegrass and old-time music from the main stage of the Minnesota Bluegrass and Old-Time Music Festival at El Rancho Manana near Richmond, Minnesota. Grassland Jam is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008 and by the members of Pioneer Public Television. On the main stage, Hen House Prowlers. My name is Stuart Pell, and the story I will tell. Hey, this little town near saw its end. Man behind the wheel with the devil lost a deal. Still too much for one to comprehend. As the sun began to rise, life to sleep out of my eyes. When I heard a sound that made my blood run cold. I can't see that well, but I sure as I can tell. Something fierce was heading down the road. Here built the town to be reborn. Those of us left who were there still say a silent prayer. I swear we hear that damn infernal horn. That song and this next one are off our newer album here. This is the title track. It's called Separation Man. Man. 
Watchmen blow away like wind See me not come back again Try to auction off my things And notify my next of kin I don't own a house or a car Just some jeans and a guitar I've no family or friends I'm a separation man Maybe things ain't what they seem. Morning bright of mass the dream. Showing us that nothing's real. Just maybe wheels and not happen. In bed it's safe at last. Nightmares cried out ran. A good life and natural death. Of a separation man. He's a separation man. Well, folks, he's been one of the one of the founding members of this band. Please make welcome the illustrious bass player, Jonathan Goldfine, everyone. <laughs> illustrious and sensitive, he wrote this next tune, and it's a very sweet, sensitive song. I love it, actually. Never needed, though clearly you did, 
to go very far. You had other plans that were part of your scheme. You didn't need me to be a part, a part of your room. Well, I've always been moved by the music I hear. But now every melody brings me to tears. Had other plans with each song we'd sing. Turns out you didn't want me to be a part, a part of your routine. Now your picture is on the cover of every magazine, holding hands with a stranger. Oh, he's just some old has been. You made it to the top. Well, that's what you were always wanting. Top of what? Top of nowhere. Top of nothing. Now I lay here alone with a damn loathsome song. My heart is crushed. It won't be back. You're gone. Pushed your way into the Hollywood scene. I'm just a fading memory. When you laugh about what might have been, when I come. Missing you every night is my new routine. Thank you guys, we're gonna do a, uh, uh, an instrumental here I wrote quite a few years ago actually. Uh, we. Uh, in Chicago, we have two different kinds of trains. We have the, the, the L, and then we have the Metro. The Metro takes you quite a bit further out. And for a while, I taught lessons out in the suburbs in Chicago. Every Tuesday, I'd have to go and take the Metro out to the, the suburbs. And uh, I was waiting for a Metro train one day. Uh, and actually, I walked up onto the station, and there was a, an old man at the station. And that's it, just one old man. Uh, and as I got closer to him, I realized he was covered in blood. Uh, and so I naturally, I asked him, uh, if everything was all right, uh, and he told me to leave him alone, and I uh, investigated a little bit closer and realized uh, that he, he had in his hands this kind of stack of paper, and he was kind of throwing some of it on the ground and some of it in the garbage and putting some more of it into his pocket. It was very bizarre, uh, and I got even closer and realized that what he had in his hands was a stack of $50 bills, and that wasn't money, but it was ink that had exploded all over him because he had just robbed the bank right next to the, uh, to the station. And... Uh, uh, and so I asked, I said, I actually said, I said, did you just rob a bank? <laughs> and, uh, and he said, leave me alone, kid. And, uh, and so we're standing, there's this awning kind of protecting us from the street, and I hear all these police cars screeching to a halt. And uh, these cops ran up the embankment, and uh, 
and they saw a banjo player and they saw an old man. Uh, guess who they pointed their guns at? And, uh, uh, but it became pretty clear what was going on and uh, they arrested him. And uh, I, I had to answer some questions to the police and the, the police officer was like, is that, is that a guitar? And I said, no, it's a banjo. Uh, and he said, well, that's gonna make one heck of a song. It was on the Ravenswood stop on the metro in Chicago. This is called the Ravenswood Getaway, even though he didn't. One, two, three. I break your heart just to prove I 
and gentlemen, that's our not so brand new guitar player from Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, a, a great singer, great, great guitar player, and, uh, and, a, and a wonderful guy to travel around the world with. Please make welcome Mr. Christopher Dollar. Don't hold me now 
by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008 and by the members of Pioneer Public Television. 